Hey guys, welcome back to your channel. In this episode, I'd like to again talk about Fuji Kaze. So, have you guys checked out Fuji Kaze, which I talked about in my previous episode? Um, if you haven't, please check it out. He has a YouTube account and he's a Japanese artist, singer, um, who is becoming more and more popular. And today, I'd like to share my thoughts on. His song called Mo Ewa and what his lyrics mean. s、um, He has uploaded a video explaining the lyrics of Mo Ewa, and in the video, he said that this song is about renunciation of all the burden of life and liberation from all the attachments of life. And he also said, We are all like prisoners until we realize what's important and what's unnecessary in life. And then he said, Try to choose love all the time and、um, discard your attachment. If you can do that, then everything is gonna be alright all the time. Isn't it so deep? Someone was commenting that his. Spiritual age is so high, and I totally agree. He's only 23 years old and he's thinking this deep. And today I'd like to share my thoughts on what does it mean by the burden of life or the attachment of life, or what it means by love. So, what do you think the burden of your life is? I think. The burden of your life or the attachment of your life has mainly three things. One is the attachment to material stuff, such as the money or the house, the cars, the land, the fortune, the assets that you have. This is the most obvious thing. We most of the time have attachment to those material stuff, thinking they are valuable. And even these days, people are, have so much attachment on the natural resources such as water and、uh, oil, gas. Think about it. A thousand years ago, these were just abundant on the earth, w a s nobody's asset, w a s nobody's fortune. And everyone was sharing those natural resources. These days, people. Extract those natural resources, claiming that it's their possession. And I was thinking one day that maybe in the future we will even try to secure our oxygen, saying that this, these are my oxygen and hoarding so many oxygen、um, tanks. It sounds stupid, right? But water was just the same thing, I guess, until hundreds of years ago. Nobody was hoarding water and Nowadays, there, people say there will be even a war over water resource because water is getting more scarce on the earth. So, this is one thing we have attachment to those material stuff. Another attachment we have is the attachment to the feelings. The feeling,、uh, especially the negative feelings such as anxiety, jealousy. Or sense of inferiority or suspicious feeling. These k i n d of f e e l i n g we tend to have, including the stressful feeling, these are the things we have attachment to.、Um, most of the time, we are just worried about stuff that's not gonna happen. That's one thing, the attachment to feelings. And one more thing is the attachment to the body, the body attachment. What does it mean by body attachment? I think that's our desire wanting to live longer and not wanting to die. Because you think if you die, you will lose all the valuable stuff that you have acquired in your life. But these days, I think that the valuable stuff in this life, you can't bring those stuff to your afterlife. You can't bring your money, you can't bring your resource, you can't bring your land. To the afterlife, so those which are valuable are not valuable at all af after you're dead. That's why people are scared of dying, and they feel like once they die, 
there'll be nothing, so they don't want to die. So these are the burden or the attachment of life, in my opinion. And what is love? I think love is just opposite of attachment. Attachment is something you always want to receive from other people. You always want to get, I want to have this, I want to have that. You have attachment to something, that's why you want to get. But love is the feeling that you already have enough. That's why you want to give to other people. You want to give your food, you want to give your money to other people, you want to give your love to other people. The feeling of giving to other people is, I think, is love. And love is also not having the body attachment, I guess. Meaning you just find if you just die, you are not scared of dying because the, bo- the current body that we are in right now is just like a stuffed animal thing. It's just like a body suit. And once we die, our body will decay, but our soul, our spirit will come out from this body and the spirit will live even after our body die. But this doesn't mean that uh, not scared of dying is recommending people to commit suicide. <laughs> I'm not saying that. It's just like, it's just, I'm just saying that once you're not scared of dying, then you can be released from all the anxiety, anxious feelings of um, when you die. Like, what if I die? Once you can be released of those anxieties, and you can focus on now, you can focus on how you should live well now, right now. That's what I mean by discarding your body attachment and uh, not scared of dying anymore. And so in Fuji Kaze's uh, video explaining the song Moewa, he said at the end of the first verse, he had some hidden message, which is that uh, we will be released from the cycle of birth and death only when we give up body attachment. And I was searching where is that verse that has that hidden message. And I guess it's the the, uh, the end of the first verse before the chorus starts. It goes like, Minna saki ga mienai yomichi o tomo ni mayoi aruku yo fukedoki utsumukanai de obienai de tozashita tobira tataite. Basically, it's saying that we are all walking uh, at night. And don't look down, don't be scared, let's open the closed door. And I guess the last uh, sentence, let's open the closed door, is the hidden message that he had. And this lyrics is, I guess, written from a spirit's perspective. So I guess Kazesa is seeing stuff from a spirit's perspective. So what exactly this verse mean it's about the dawn and let's open the close the door by it's about the dawn i guess maybe it's talking about the new era the era of wind which is about to start from this december in the past 240 years according to horoscope was the era of earth and it started from around 1760 i guess or when the British had its industrial revolution. And the past two, 240 years was represented by material stuff. We were playing this game of, of building up our fortune, be, building up our assets, having more money. So human beings were playing this game of building up material stuff. But I think in the new era, the era of wind, we will be less focusing on those material stuff and more focusing on those which cannot be seen, such as love or soul or spirit. So the new era is the era that human beings play with something you cannot see. And what does he mean by releasing the body attachment is, I guess, again, you have no attachment to your body meaning you don't mind if you lose your body meaning you don't mind even you die meaning when you die you are become 
you're just left with your soul or spirit, which will live forever and which will have reincarnation. So if even though you die in this life, you will still have your next life and you already had your previous lives. That's why if you have your body attachment, you think like your current life is the only life. Once you die, it will just end. But if you have a perspective from your spirit, you will, will notice that your current life is not the only life. Even though you die, you still have next life. And each time before you were born, you, you plan what you want to do in the new life. So yeah, I guess in that sense, the people that you see, the people that you meet in your current life are definitely uh, those who you had met in your previous lives. Yeah, so I guess the new era will be the era that we will remember that we are the existence of spirit and then we can have a whole new perspective toward life, toward the birth and death. I guess this doesn't mean that once you are not scared of dying, you shouldn't pay much attention to your body or you should just commit suicide casually. I don't think it means like that. I rather think our body is just like uh, we are part of uh, the God. God created us and we are all the creation of the God. That means the God's soul, the God's spirit is all in us. In that sense, we should always respect our body and love our body and treat our body like just like we, when we treat God. That's how you're giving love to yourself. That's one way of expressing your love to yourself. And once you can express your love to yourself, then you can also express love to other people. I guess without expressing love to yourself, you can't really express love to other people. Yep, today I explained the deep meaning of Fujikaze's song called Mo Ewa. I'm gonna uh, put a link of his music video and his uh, video explaining this song. So, yep, I hope you will enjoy Fujikaze and thank you for listening. Bye bye.